on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. Just for the sake of getting a man, they're going to be fucked up. It's going to be worse than if they had just moved the way that they was going to move and stay in your lane. I'm not mad at people that want to do their own thing. This is what's wrong with us right now. No, I'm not mad at people that do their own thing because all the one thing that I am mad at, listen, I'm not mad at a chick if she don't fuck up society by having a kid out of way lock and then get into an argument and a dude and then it take it toxic and then she use a family court. I'm okay with a chick that don't move like that and they just stay in her lane. Cool. Buy a dog, die alone. Or if you find a man that you want, awesome. I'm cool with that. The only problem that I have is people that's destroying the community by doing the toxic things for us. I don't think the problem is the women that decide that they want to move on and do their own thing. I think the problem is the women that keep doing the wrong thing, thinking that they're going to get the right thing and creating a more toxic environment because those are the type of women that's going to be raising the boys that come up after them. And then the dude, a dude in the chat saying, Anton, you was broke when you met your wife. No, family. I was 18 years old and I was making $120,000 a year. Let's be clear. I went broke, and I was always getting money. Do, do no, you know I you? wasn't broke when I was with my chick. Let's be clear. I always been getting it. Do you know you? No, that nigga don't know me. Oh, he didn't wear a chat, nigga. That nigga know, come on, man. Stop it. Stop the cap, bro. <laughs> but my whole point, my whole point. And, was- and my broke was you getting money. Let's be clear. My oh. broke is you getting money. You think you came up. Uh, damn, and so they ain't never see you in the chat. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Listen, oh, it's man. levels to this, and I and I want people to remember that. Listen, I play nice and all of that, but remember who y'all talking to because my broke is yo come up. All right, do my chat niggas though. Hey, chat niggas, chill, man. What the fuck wrong with y'all niggas? Drop them fucking nigga chat niggas in the chat. My whole point I'm making to you, Anton, is this: like I'm saying, it works perfectly for Quest because even though his wife is still doing that, she know if something crazy happened that he's a stable enough in his life that she can fall on. And I got I got partners that's married that don't got that dynamic. And then now I see that they don't have that control in their household. Like I said, everybody take, like Kayla, love taking shots at me. Say, Mr. Logic, you, you, you single. I can take that. But guess what? I can find a hundred holes right now that's going to be like, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be. Why are they not found? Hey, you don't even know who in my house right now. I'm just asking. Do you, do you, want, you, do you want to see her? Absolutely not. Uh, I said she's thicker than a goddamn snicker. But well, look. Hopefully she's cooking because you don't spend enough in DoorDash. Yeah, and you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, so you really want to go down with me? I just would prefer. That you get somebody that can cook and that you get somebody that is at your door barefoot and 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 butt naked and that they can do everything that you need them to do so that we don't have to hear about it any longer. Can you please leave me alone? I'm asking you, I'm begging you. (laughs) Baby, leave leave me alone, man. Bro, you look like Chewbacca right there, bro. I was about to say that. I just been No, I just spent eight hours <laughs> all today. Man, and look, fuck you. Get this wig out of here. Hey, no. I mean, and the, and the pan don't work. What is it? Some kind of grease or some shit? You can put some. You know it, what that is? It's what, synthetic. What? It's no. synthetic with yes, your cheap ass. Yes, That's what it, that is. Is it like some 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 black woman some hair? Synthetic ice. ass bullshit okay. that you got is from it, the swap. Like is, is it some icy hot for hair that I can put on my head? <laughs> This shit is burning. This shit tight. <laughs> no one told you to go to the swap meet hey, to get man, both your of y'all, Hey, both of y'all toxic as hell, man. <laughs> All right, Max. You know, see, I'm trying to play nice. And she keep coming for me. And I told y'all I'm going to flame your ass up. Oh. You think so? <laughs> she don't care. Hey, JR, JR what's, your, what's your take on this, man? Do you think men can benefit from modern boss chicks? I love boss chicks. <clears throat> JR? Like I'm kind of like with you, man, with the whole the whole mindset thing, right? Because I know that there are some chicks that's in a bag and they don't they don't know how to deal with somebody because they've been in their bag for so long. They don't even understand what it is. I mean, typically, uh, what well, there are some women that that had to get to the bag because of a trauma, and so those type of particular women, I I believe that 
you can't you, you can't build nothing with. Now I do understand that some some fathers teach their um, daughters to to have their own, and even some mothers contribute to that, right? But if they don't have any examples within the household, or if they don't have an understanding of what it is to be a wife, then they don't know how to turn that shit off. So, can it happen? Can can it benefit? Yeah, I think it. I think it benefits to see for uh, people on the outside looking in when you ain't got to deal with that person. Like, damn, this motherfucker getting it, and she a woman. So, what does that say about yourself? You know, how come you ain't getting to it? But dating her and having to be involved with her, that's a whole different story because you don't know what you're going to get. And sometimes it might not even be worth the risk to even pursue her if you don't know if, if you don't know her already before the career or if you don't know her like within that circle. But taking a chance or a risk on somebody that's in their bag, you got to really see like where her head is. So that's my thoughts on it. I think, like, what's crazy is I know, a, like, especially here in Tampa, bro, I know a lot of bossed up chicks that are here, right? Like, a lot. I would suggest maybe 20% of them, I think, would make great wives just off of uh, character traits that I see in them just as they move throughout, as they're operating, things like that. The other 80% of them, man, I'm telling you, First you don't off, think that chicks that's getting, getting money is attractive? Like, you don't think that that's just like a turn on, bro? Say that again? A chick that get money, like that's really getting it, ain't, that ain't attractive, bro? I mean, I mean, like I said, if you're prioritizing being a wife first, then yeah. Mm -hmm. To me, that's more attractive than getting the money. Like, you having traits that says, hey, I know how to be a wife and There's know how to... more than one type of attractive woman, bro. Like, you, you they ask, all, ask, like, I don't know, I don't know how guys just automatically exclude those type of chicks because I didn't exclude them. I'm not, you I'm asked not me I said I guys, I don't put that attractiveness I'm, not you, but I'm saying white. guys in general. I don't know how guys just automatically like don't include chicks that's getting money because bro, I did a show on a chick this morning. Bro, that chick she hit every box. It is no reason in the world why dudes should not be flooding her inbox. Hey, yes, no I, I, I I understand that, and she and she is attractive, and what she's doing attractive. I I seen it, but if you actually date them, it's a whole different story. So they can be attractive, but when you date them, then you start to see as to why they they not with nobody. I'm assuming. Okay, she's let, let me ask you this question: Is she single? Was she single? Yeah, yeah she got a dog. Yeah, she was 27. She was saying she made six hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. She was gonna be making a million dollars this year, um, and she was she was sexy, bro. But here's the thing, though. So let me ask you a question, Jr. Do you think that when she meet a certain type of guy, that she gonna move a little differently around him just because he that dude, or do you think that she just inherently has that mentality because she is so successful? I think the like the right guy can get her. He ain't gotta have no money. I think the right guy, nine times out of ten, can get her. Now whether he able to sustain that relationship is a different story. The the right guy that's already in his bag, yeah, he might be able to get to her, but I still see maybe some bump in the heads. But but he have to be like far along, like further than her, for it to pro possibly work. I don't but think I, she can. Not a not an alpha. Oh I man! I guarantee a beta she, nigga she could do she it. She is certainly baggable. She is she is baggable all day long, bro. I hear you, but we're talking about marriage, right? Because that is the measure. that is the measure. Can she marry a, the type of man that she fucking wants? I think in order to have a successful marriage with that type of personality, typically you're gonna have to have a beta, somebody that's willing to say, you know what, I will follow your lead, queen. <laughs> Nah, nah, but she's not gonna follow his lead though. That's no, she thing. ain't. Yeah, she's not gonna follow his lead. She's not gonna follow no, no, but yeah. You, so this guy, this this woman you're talking about earlier, you're saying that she will follow a man's lead. I think she will. I believe that she will. She may be exceptional. Clearly, she I, is. And honestly, I just don't think. Uh, Sometimes, do you sometimes just be thinking to yourself, like, man, I wish I could just take my brain out and put it into different people so that they can, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if dudes just like confidence or what, bro, but dudes clam up when they get around those type of chicks, bro. 
Hey, look, like some people that mad, don't even Kenny. feel like they got a shot, they'll just shoot it just for the sake of shooting it because that's just what they are. Like, and I'll shoot it at anybody, whatever. We ain't talking about them type of dudes. We talking about dudes that's serious, like seriously moving a certain type of way. They clam up around them type of chicks, bro. Yeah, I mean, I can I can see that, but I but what I was saying is that a regular dude can can get in those can can get to her. He just ain't gonna be able to keep her because she's gonna realize that he ain't on her level. But a regular nigga can get can touch her. Right. I mean, I guess, like, and I also think that it's in the test of time though, Jr. Not <laughs> just a quick smash. No, but what I'm and, saying and, is that it's and, gonna take and a certain, it's gonna, it's gonna no certain type of gap, but that guy might have whatever. No yeah, yeah, masculinity, that, not a masculine bone in her body. The chick was just like straight up feminine pressure. chill. <laughs> so that's why I say she must be exceptional because most women that are that successful making that type of bread, that type of paper, 650, that's very rare to see somebody that's make. it's rare to see somebody that's making that type of fucking bread, that type of, them type of chips to be all feminine, not a masculine bone in their body. Like part of the way you even get up to climbing that fucking ladder is you had had to have shown some type of masculinity when you're in here competing against men to climb up to the top see, of the charts. Let me like tell that. you what my what I think it is. And Kayla, I, I see you, baby. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop right after this. I believe that you have to step outside of what tradition looks like. If you try to take that type of woman and say, "Hey, no, cook and clean and all of that," that's the where the problem lies. If you a type of dude that's shake and move and you flying in and out and you taking care of business and y'all link up and y'all connect when it's convenient and so on and so forth, that's how you kind of try to got to move with that chick. With women, you can't try to contain them. You got to unleash them. You got to unplug them. You got to try to enable them to be the best version of themselves, whatever that is. If they the type of woman that get behind you and then need, they need to work for you, then that's that. If she the type of woman that she need to be unleashed because she got so many talent and so you want to put her in positions of power, then that's what you do. You move according to the circumstance, but everybody is trying to put women in this one little container and say, no, you you have to cook and clean or whatever. And that's not what it is, bro. She can still move in her femininity. She can still exude all of this beauty and femininity and whatever, but the goal is not to put her in this space. The goal is to unleash her. And when you enable her to be like that, she's going to fall right up under you and she's going to move according to your program. I agree. Yeah. Women can operate in their femininity at that level, but do they? Fuck what idealistically we're looking at. I'm talking about what is it across the board? Typically speaking, that is not the case, and you know that's not the case. Well, it's how many, not the how case. Many, how many how many women do you know, Anton, that make that type of bread that you can seriously sit here and say they have not a single masculine bone in their body like this particular? Woman I know a couple. I know a couple. Well, I don't know them. Right. Speak, I know a couple. I know right. two specifically right off the top of my head that I can think of. Two. Yeah, two. but I don't. I don't. We talking about knowing people's personal business and all of that, right? Because. Again, yeah, you, you in, you're in the space though, that, where you're exposed to a lot of women that make a lot of fucking money. This I do. Right? I am exposed to a lot of women that make a lot of money. So that's what yeah, I'm saying. Okay. You said off the top of your dome, you can only name two off the rip. That I know specifically how much they make. They have husbands. They still move in their femininity, and they still out here operating in their career. I know two that's doing it. So hey. the rest, what would you suggest? But well, we can even we can even point oh, out hold some on, hold on, I, no, no, I want to dig deeper. The, okay. the rest of them, how would you? What would you suggest they are? I don't know enough about them to classify them like that. The rest of them. But hold on, Anton. I thought you could meet a chick in four hours. And, and, no, no, no. I can. We, but I'm married, so I'm not available for it. If I'm, I know. Listen, I said it on a live stream. I'd bag that chick tomorrow. But Anton, I'd bag her tomorrow. This, this is if, this if, is. If I wasn't, if okay. I was single today, I would bag her tomorrow. All right, Anton. This is the flaw in your argument, right? It's just like saying that just like me and a bodybuilder and get mad at her because she can punch hard. The thing about it is that when you're dealing with women, that's actually these so-called boss chicks. What do boss chicks do? They're bosses. And what do bosses do? Bosses lead. Bosses are is used to making... And I, and I say this a lot. When we have our women on the same path as our men and we expect them 
to jump off of this boat and jump in their feminine energy when they was trained. Everything in their life is about boss, 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 decision, 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 running shit, running shit, running shit, running shit. And you tell her, hey, look, I need you to take a back seat. It's not going to happen. So, logic, I'm I give, not I, telling you that you have to tell her to take a back seat. I don't want her to take a back seat. You want to unleash it. No, but see, at, look. But I'm logic, not, but logic, don't you think that? I mean, I, I don't. I believe bosses. What they do most of the time is they're delegating. That's honestly what they're doing most of the time. They're leading. And, no, and, no, no. And, they're leading. They got put They're, there they're leading, lead. but they're giving they're giving direction to someone uh, that's going to go actually do the execution. I'm gonna I'm I'm tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. And I hate so is that any different from no, like no, how no, a woman no, that running her household does? No, whether that's no, calling listen, the plumber and getting this I'm, set up, I'm, whether I'm, that's I'm making give, dinner and coordinating parties and coordinating family members, and is that is that any any really no, different? No. Yes, it is. And see, you're being you okay. okay. But let me. I'm, I'm gonna give you an example. It takes right. Extreme organization. Communication. Okay. It takes skill too. I mean, if you're doing it right, whatever. All right. At the end of the day, they're giving orders. That's yeah, the yeah. You're this talking about a... delegating, and you're using different words. But at the end of the day, to be in those positions of power, you are giving orders. Hey, you go do this. You can say delegate and make it sound nice and make it sound Strategy. pleasant. But in the act, but yes. at the end of the day, they are putting those positions to give orders. CEOs give orders. Fuck that delegate bullshit. They're giving orders. You go yes. do this, you go do that. And we we, ask, work, we work together on a fucking thing, project question. together, and guess what? I get the final say so. Bro, every cool. every dude that I know, wait, wait, every wait. dude, but all of the dudes that's in corporate positions. Hold on, bad. Hold go ahead, logic. Go ahead, logic. This is the problem. These women is in these masculine positions of giving orders, of leading, and doing all this, and we tell them to tone back. They cannot. Like I said, the worst chick to date is a chick in the military because she's 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 bred to compete. She's bred to compete with men. She's bred to try to be fast. She bred to do all these different things. And then even though she don't have this true leadership ability, she overdo things because people look at it and laugh at her. That's facts. And we can't use my wife as an example because, once again... Let me ask you a question, Logic. Can I ask you a question, Big Dog? Go ahead, bro. I know plenty of CEOs whose wives are also very, very high-powered and very successful. That's not the norm. That's not the cross no, 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 the But people. that's what I'm saying. We're using the example of women that are not the norm, so then we have to have that type of conversation. The women that we're referring to is not the norm. The boss chick shit. You talking about? Uh, so I know plenty of dudes that's in positions of power who they girl is also in a position of power and it works beautifully. I literally have marriage parties over here and these women come over and they have no problems whatsoever. How is that possible? When we saying that, when we having these conversations. Oh, here's the thing, though. The wait, thing wait, 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 is, no, no, one at a time, y'all. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time, y'all. We can get through it. One at a time. Because you're capping. Okay. It, it, I, I'm just keeping it funky with you. All right. All right. Can you explain why you're capping logic? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm fin to. You're capping because what you're saying, it would be ideal for it exists, but it does not exist on the masses. And neither do I, boss chicks. Okay, I, I understand I understand what Most you're saying, but I think somebody. but I think what Anton <laughs> is saying is that it, it can't happen. You know, we're talking about people that we're talking about the minority on both sides. So we gotta understand that they can be that it can work, but it takes a certain type of guy. I understand the logic always speaks on it's not the majority. But let's Which just step outside. Let's just let's just step outside the majority and let's just focus on can it work with a boss chick? So but, that's but, why I said across this, the this, board, this, I said I, of the women that I know that are boss chicks, I said tw I would suggest 20% of them I think could be in an actual relationship that stands the test of time. I'm but, not suggesting that it cannot happen, but I'm talking about the women in my anecdotal world, which I know quite a bit are very successful. Only 20% of them, I would suggest. Some of them are actually in healthy relationships of that 20 I'm talking about. But the other 80, the mass of this the boss chicks, it's this not happening. If it was feasible like Anton said it was, 
then you know what we won't have? We won't have these problems in the black community. But but the question I but have everybody's is, not, is how not many, a boss chick though. Lies. How many right? How many oh. bosses in terms of men are there compared to boss chicks? I don't think that boss. I mean, chicks we would have never any, know. I mean, any, they yeah. just. I mean, like, no, I'm just saying, saying, I don't think that most them. boss chicks have any kind of problem submitting. You know, doing all I these don't things. I just think that you have to be a boss for her yep. to do that because she's a boss. So the problem You're not is, not just get it because you got a dick. It's you just can hit it. You can hit it. You're you, just not gonna be able to, to sustain. Not everybody. Not, yeah, yeah right. Not everybody you gonna be able to hit her. But there is some men out there that can hit these boss chicks. They just not. It's not just gonna last long. That's right. all I'm saying. Any any woman can be touched. She's gonna get tired of most women can be touched. Women don't really want to do that in their personal life. She's gonna get tired of doing that. So she and they have to be a boss. A boss woman. Right. That's what I said. Don't I said that in the beginning? Yeah. That's what I said in the beginning. If you got if you got if you got a pookie, he'll touch her, but he ain't gonna keep her. If you got it, yes, niggas can poke. We all know niggas can poke. We already know niggas can put rod in these particular women. But what we're talking about is relationships that stand the test of time. You were saying that that you gotta be a boss, you gotta be a boss. You that dude has to be a boss. Now, do we really want to play this game on how many boss niggas there are out here in the world when we talk about across the board? Bro, you shooting, you shoot. You on the craps? I mean, you on the the roulette table. Your odds is one out of thirty two. Your odds will be out of one out of one fucking billion. And on, and on top. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> These women do not want. Look, this is this the is crazy. facts, bro. Okay, so facts. let me ask the gentleman. Then. You're talking okay, about this. the dude a, that can. Look. You're talking about the dude that can actually make that boss chick like be submissive. How many of these men uh, exist? Uh, I, I could I can understand what you're saying about that. It takes a certain you know type of boss, right? Because he got to have it. Because he got to have a mentality. Hold on. But it's if not supposed Beyonce, to be a whole lot of dudes that's able to do that. If you're hold Beyonce, on, on. how okay. are you going to be doing Taylor, anything Taylor. that she's doing other than with a man than that's like Jay Z? Like, how is it going to work? Uh, but, 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 say, that again? Say, say it again, Caleb. I said, if you're Beyonce, how are you going to uh, make that same dynamic work with any other man other than a man that's like Jay Z? We have first off, we have to stop doing this. We have to stop. It's just an this. example of a boss chick yeah. and a boss. That's no, no, all no, that is an no, example. No. So what we want to do is we want to put our odds against Jay Z and Beyonce. Okay, okay, okay. The rest so, of so just okay, so quest okay. just answer this question then. As a man, <laughs> it's like, as a man, <laughs> I, do you I see you turn that, I see you turn that mic down though. No, just as a man, I want to know. What about the boot boot is back up? <laughs> say say your question, Caleb. As a man, do you think that Certain men or some men may prefer a woman that is not a boss so that they can maintain that dominance in the relationship. Okay, so you're saying dominance? I'm gonna say lead. I think well, leadership, lead. dominance, bought the final say, lead. whatever you want to call it. Sure, we're gonna call it leading, right? I think men want to be leaders of their household, and I think most women so that are in that type of and Let, me finish my answer. Let me finish okay. my answer. So I think most women that are in those positions that are making that type of fucking bread, excuse me, I said fuck again. Sorry about that. Most women that are making that type of money typically want to lead. They don't want to be led is what I'm getting at. I'm wrong. You are wrong. They you do. are wrong. They you do. are wrong. wrong, 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 wrong. So then, answer, so then go back to the last video JR posted. Where, you, where the young man had those statistics about but why it only most makes of these sense women though, are unhappy. Uh, yeah, but y'all, again, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Let me just add this. So you think uh, you, no, no, no. Listen, 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 listen. When we have this conversation, y'all got to take into consideration that we're not talking about the majority of women. We're talking about a select group of women, so not what most guys can do. So was that dude? The dude who who, who had that video that um. Uh, that JR posted, he was talking about those women, the women that are successful above the age of whatever, 40, whatever. He was talking about those successful women. So I, I'm not talking about all women right here. I'm talking about those specifically. Why are they all single? Do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. Ask, ask yourself this question, right? Or mostly. How many in, in, in our black community, the 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 13.6% of us, blackity black, how many do we see boss chicks deal with boss men? 
But that's what I was asking, though, yeah, and yeah. Uh, of, uh, of uh, the men, because yeah. there is there is a sector of boss men that don't want a boss chick because they don't want to ever have to like um, keep on their toes about certain things. Yes, right? but but it, a majority. But they know they marry a girl far beneath them. They have the flexibility to do a lot more than if they're with a boss chick that's yeah. on her shit, where you have to keep up and keep going with your shit. No, 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 no. It's it's not that. It, the thing is, okay. it's like when 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 it comes when it comes being a boss chick, because it take character attributes to become a boss chick, like it take character attributes to become a boss nigga. Would you agree with that? Yes. There now, are characteristics, tenacity, them traits, others. Yes. Them traits will match that of a man. So now a boss man would not want to deal with a boss chick because they think the same. She's a nigga with titties and a pussy. At the okay, end. Hold on. I, okay. I, if we could use, for example, Tommy the, uh, to Tony the Closer. Nicole and now don't even know who the fuck that is. I know who and, it is. And, I know who you're talking about. And and boss chick, million dollar company, boss dude, million dollar company. And I can't say for what it's gonna be, but it seems like it's working very well. She respects the fuck out of him. Mm. Okay. Every one of them. He's, he's still a boss in her own right. He supports her. He pours money into her businesses. Got she it. does her thing. She he does his thing. They support each other both heavy. They both have hey. hey. money on Hold on, logic. Hold on, logic. Like I got it. Hold 20 on, hold grand on his uh, birthday. Right. Like so for you to say it doesn't exist, they literally Halo, we're not saying Instagram. it doesn't exist. Stop saying that. We're not saying it doesn't exist. Okay. We're saying for every one of those couples that you're talking about, I can call out fucking 50 different black women that are successful as fuck, that's single as fuck. They're okay. single. Right. Yeah, but the, again, again, but the quest, here's my thing. I'm not disputing the fact that they may be single, okay? That's not even an argument, okay? What I'm saying is that it take a certain type of, it's, listen, it's rare to find dudes that are truly alpha in real life. We're not even what? talking about adding the money comp component into it. We're just talking about a purely alpha dude that operate in confidence, ain't worried about what nobody is talking about, and he just moved. That's just the way he is. Then add the money component to it because we're talking about rare people in general, right? Add the money component to it, and we're talking about dudes that's really, really getting it, right? What I'm saying is that it take that type of dude to keep that type of chick. So if we saying that they're not available, then I think that that's a completely different argument Fair. than what it takes to actually get them. I'm saying that they gettable. I'm saying that it's, it's possible. I just don't think that they check in for a majority of dudes, which is why they're in a the position that they're in. Fair enough. But they certainly gettable. No, Anta, I think what we you're saying. How many of you think they should date? Do you think they should date more potentially? Let me just correct Anta and turn it off. I ain't hear what you said, Kayla. I'm sorry. Do you think that they should date oh, those geez. guys that maybe aren't bosses but have potential? <laughs> it's like we were talking about. No, earlier, you so know what? So honestly, honestly, I know this is the unpopular thing. I think that they should be in that space that make, that make them comfortable. Because if they... I don't I think that if people do something just for the sake of getting a man, they're gonna be fucked up. It's gonna be worse than if they had to just move the way that they was gonna move and stay in your lane. I'm not mad at people that want to do their own thing. This is what's wrong with us right now? No, I'm not mad at people that do their own thing because all the one thing that I am mad at, listen, I'm not mad at a chick if she don't fuck up society by having a kid out of way lock and then get into an argument and a dude and then it take it toxic and then she use a family court. I'm okay with a chick that don't move like that. And they just stay in her lane. Cool. Buy a dog, die alone. Or if you find a man that you want, awesome. I'm cool with that. The only problem that I have is people that's destroying the community by doing the toxic things for us. I don't think the problem is the women that decide that they want to move on and do their own thing. I think the problem is the women that keep doing the wrong thing thinking that they're going to get the right thing and creating a more toxic environment because those are the type of women that's going to be raising the boys that come up after them. 